Hey everyone, um, today we're going to be considering uh, 20 inch AR-10 or 16 inch AR-10, okay? So I've got this Palmetto AR-10, okay, so this is the PA-10 Gen 3, uh, 20 inch barrel, okay? About a 13 pound gun, okay? Now, granted, this is a two and a half pound scope that's on it, uh, but the, that extra four inches on the barrel, I mean, that's weight at the far end, okay? So... That's weight out there. I can I can feel the weight. Okay, uh, over here. Now this is an AR-10. I'm using this uh, 308 Vepper. Okay, uh, this is much 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 lighter. This is a 16 inch barrel. This is a much lighter gun. Now uh, yeah, this scope is a pound lighter, right? So that's two and a half pounds versus a pound and a half. You know, with the mounts. Um, this is much much lighter. Okay, so if you're going to be traveling any distances. Yeah, definitely. 16-inch barrel versus a 20-inch barrel. Okay, so the question now becomes, what are we giving up? Okay, uh, first of all, let me say this: I've done a video uh, where I was shooting this a Palmetto AR-10 at a thousand yards. Okay, uh, so I got nine out of ten shots at 22 inches. Okay, so that's 2.2 uh, MOA. Okay, at a thousand yards. I've already posted the video up. You can you'll find it in the playlist below. Um, so what I did is I ran the numbers through the chronograph. So with the 20, with the 20 inch, right, using the Freedom Munitions 147 grain, that's the velocity. I'm not, I'm not going to rattle off the numbers. That's the velocity. That's the muzzle, the muzzle energy, right? All right, that's 20 inches. We hear same ammunition in the 16 inch, right? That's that's in that Vepper over there. So with the 16 inches, that's the velocity, right? So 2782 versus 2675. There's your muzzle energy at, all right, 2527 versus 2336. All right, so it's like, okay, either at the muzzle, either one of those will probably do about the same, okay? So the question now becomes at 500 yards, okay? What do these numbers, what does this mean at 500 yards? So at 500 yards, and again, now there's a calculated number, right, based off of those velocities. At 500 yards, the 20-inch barrel uh, is going to have an energy of 996, okay? The 16-inch barrel with the same ammunition, right, is going to have an energy of 903, okay? So we're talking about an energy difference of 95 foot-pounds, uh, which is about about the difference of a 22 long rifle, like, out of a pistol, okay? So that's the difference of 20 inches versus 16 inches with the same ammunition, 147 grain freedom munitions, at 500 yards, 996 foot pounds versus 903 foot pounds. Now, I take this out to a thousand yards, right? At a thousand yards, uh, the 20 inch does 344 foot pounds, the 16 inch okay, does 330 foot pounds. So that's a difference of 14 foot pounds, okay? That might be the difference between like a Glock 17. Uh, and a Glock 19. Okay, so 300. So we're clearly at a thousand. As a thousand yards, we are in pistol territory because, like your typical target ammo, okay, uh, nine millimeter target ammo, I have a Glock 17 is going to get about 350 foot pounds at the muzzle. So at a thousand yards, the 308 is hitting like a nine millimeter. Okay, so 20 inch 344, uh, 16 inch 330. Okay, now I, I also tested out with a, with a second ammunition with American Sniper. 20 inch, right? There's velocity, okay? There's 20 inch with velocity, 16 inch with the velocity there, okay? Energy, at the muzzle energy here, 20 inch, 16 inch there, okay? Now at the 500 yards where it starts getting interesting, um, 500 yards, the 20 inch with the American Sniper, 149 grain, 912 versus 16 inch at 500 yards, seven, 774. Okay, so it's like, what, like 130, 140 uh, foot-pounds of energy. 140 foot-pounds of energy is like a 22 long rifle out of, you know, like a 24-inch barrel or something, okay? Um, 140 foot-pounds is the difference between 20 inches and 16 inches at 500 yards. At, uh, at 1,000 yards, 334 on the 20-inch versus 306 on the 16-inch, okay? So we got like a difference here of like, what, 30 foot-pounds? Okay, so that's like the difference between like a Glock 19 and a Glock 43, okay? So that's the type of difference we're talking about between 20 inches and um, 
and uh, and 16 inches. Okay. Uh, now, one of the things you want to pay attention to is at what point these things go subsonic, because the uh, the slower bullet is going to go subsonic sooner. Okay. When bullets go become subsonic, they start to destabilize. Okay. Now that doesn't mean that they're going to immediately destabilize, but they start to destabilize. Okay. Um, so with the one that I've actually shot with this Freedom Munition out of the 20 inch barrel, I actually had that out to a thousand yards, right? Where I got the nine out of 10 shots at 22 inches, 2.2 mm away. Okay. Um, so even though I got that at a thousand yards, it is calculated, it was a calculated number that that ammunition went subsonic at 850 yards. Okay. Now there are things that like, for example, I, I did this in the wintertime. It was a little bit cold, a little colder. The air was a little bit thinner. Uh, I was probably at some elevation, maybe a thousand feet up. Okay. So, so that, those are things that might shift your, at what point, you know, these things go subsonic. Okay. But this 20 inch rear ammunition goes subsonic at 850. The same ammunition in the 16 inch goes subsonic at 800 yards. Okay. So we, we're losing 50 yards. Okay. So in the 16 inch, we're going to go subsonic 50 yards sooner. With the American Sniper, in the 20 inch, we go subsonic at 800, okay? In the 16 inch, we go subsonic at 700 yards. So here, we go subsonic 100 yards sooner, okay? So that's something to pay attention to. So um, ammunition, what happens is uh, some ammunition has a faster burning gunpowder. Other ammunition has a slower burning gunpowder. So I think the Freedom Ammunitions has a slightly faster burning gunpowder so in the sh in the shorter barrel you're going to get a more complete burn whereas what i think is happening here with the with the with the american sniper because it's it probably has a slower burning powder we're sleep we're seeing when we go to 20 inches to 16 inches we're seeing a bigger gap in the in the velocity and also and that's probably the reason why it goes subsonic a hundred yards sooner, right? So we go subsonic at 700 versus 800, whereas up here with the free munitions, it's only a, a, the, the gap is only 50 yards. So free munition goes subsonic at 850, whereas with the, you know, with the 20 inch versus with the 16 inch, it goes subsonic at 800. Okay, so that's that's something that you guys want to keep an eye on and actually run your ammunition through a chronograph with different length barrels and, and see which has the, you know, if you're, if you're shooting a shorter barrel, you know, you want to select ammunition that has a, a faster burn rate so that the, the bullet is, you know, the, 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 the gunpowder has a chance to completely burn before the bullet leaves the, the barrel. Okay. Um, so this is the Vepper 308. Okay. And I'm uh, actually going to, uh, post another video where I, I talk about this. I talk about a lot of this stuff, but then I talk about this Vepper 308 in some more detail. Okay, um, so uh, check out the playlist I have before below. Uh, one is going to be for the uh, AR-10, and then the other one is going to be for the primary arms scopes. Talk to y'all soon.